Phillips, that's the last straw. You march right upstairs until your father comes home. Everything I do. Maybe if I was drowned, uh, saving them from getting drowned, then they'd appreciate me. What if they were in danger, caught by ferocious cannibals in Africa? Then they'd be sorry I wasn't around to help them all. <laughs> I have to tell you, Alice. You... You mean... Yes. This may be it. I hated to tell you, knowing how you worry. Saved! It's our boy! The famous explorer! I warned you, Daiquiris, that if I ever caught you boiling parents again, I... Taught a lesson. Dr. Living's son, I presume. Mr. Father, you are too young to play in Africa. Go to your room. Other fathers get to play in Africa. I never get to do anything. My insurance will pay for the broken window, Mother. With whatever's left. Buy yourself a catcher's mitt. I guess the trouble is I, I'm just not wanted around here. Maybe it's because I've never amounted to anything. Never done anything with my life. If I'd maybe been a, a jet ace or, or something. <laughs> Commodore Phillips, listen here, turn back. You are being pursued by a multitude of unfriendly Martians who all got A in arithmetic. And besides, too, your, your superatomic filament is coming loose. Com Ralph to HQ, Com Ralph to HQ, now hear this. I've just got to engage these fierceable creatures in mortal combat. Because otherwise, what will happen to the Earth if I don't? Over. General Staff, Comrade 
to general staff. Routine report. Martians captured. World safe. Over. Shut up, everybody, can't you? Or else how can I unveil this statue of Ralph Phillips, the hero? Ralph Phillips. Yeah. I'm sorry, son, but I'm afraid we'll just have to pay for that window out of our allowance. <laughs> now, get out and play. And kind of watch it, will you, old man? <laughs> 